हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू न्यू वीडियो ऑन बेसिक इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस ऑफ डिजाइन ऑफ स्टील स्ट्रक्चर्स टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट क्वेश्चंस मे आस ऑन द कॉलम बेसिस इन स्टील स्ट्रक्चर्स स्पेशली स्लैब बेस एंड गसेटेड बेस सो वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज कॉलम बेस so column base means it is a base plate which is used to connect bottom of column with the top of cement concrete base if you look at this figure this is concrete foundation and this is steel column to connect this steel column with concrete foundation whatever this base plate is used design of this base plate is nothing but design of column base so this base plate is called as column base a steel plate or a base plate which is used to connect the steel column with the concrete base or concrete foundation is called as column base then what is purpose of providing the column base the purpose of providing the column base is to transfer the column load to the footing or foundation to whatever load is acting on this column you know that column is subjected to axial force to transfer this axial force to the concrete foundation this base plate is designed so this base plate which is called as column base so what is the purpose of column base column base is a structural element in steel structures which is used to transfer the column load to the concrete foundation then what are the types of column bases there are two types of column bases which are used in the practice that is slab base and gusseted base now what is the difference between slab base and gusseted base we will discuss in detail in the next slide but in a brief if you, if you want to understand what is a slab base and what is gusseted base in slab base if you look at this first figure this is i section column which is connected to this steel plate which is called as base plate with the help of bolting connections right so using this cleat angle these are called as cleat angles right with the help of this cleat angles this steel column is connected with the concrete base plate using bolted connections here one cleat angle is provided this is cleat angle provided to connect the flange of i section and these two is cleat angles are used to connect the sorry this is to connect the wave of i section and these two cleat angles are used to connect the flange of the i section so in case of base slab base columns are connected to the base plate with the help of cleat angles whereas if you look at the second figure if you look at the second figure figure here this i section is connected to the base plate with the help of gusset plate if you look at this this is called as gusset plate right here also there is one gusset plate is provided and in case of gusset gusseted base this cleat angle width is equal to base plate width here also bolted connections are provided but at the bottom if you look at here gusseted plate is used to connect the cleat angles and then that cleat angle is connected to the base plate so this is the basic difference between slab base and gusseted base now what is purpose of providing the base plate below the column which is called as column base it is just to transfer or distribute the load from the column to the foundation evenly if you imagine if you connect the column directly to the concrete foundation column width is this much this is the column now whatever load is acting on the column 
if it is directly connected to the concrete foundation only this portion of concrete foundation will be subjected to load okay this much portion so it become the case of a plate subjected to patch load means only on this much load this much portion load is acting now to make it to spread it over a large area if you provide this base plate that is a column base then the load of column first transferred to base plate so base plate covers this much area now right so it means the load of column is transferred to base plate and then from base plate it is transferred to the concrete foundation so with the help of base plate load can be spread over the large area evenly so to provide or to distribute the load of column evenly to the concrete foundation base plate is used right that is either to increase the area of load that is sufficiently wider area to distribute the load and evenly to evenly distribute the load the column bases or base plate is used in the column okay there is one more reason if if you directly connect the column to the concrete foundation then if it is on this area only load is acting so as i told you it become the case of plate subjected to patch load concentrated load acting over this area only and therefore there is a possibility of concrete foundation becomes over stressed at this portion so to keep it from over stressing that concrete foundation the base plate is used which distribute the load evenly on the concrete foundation that is the purpose of providing the base plate below the column there is one more question now as i told you how the base plates or column bases are connected to the concrete foundation or base plate so as i told you in the case of slab base the column is connected to base plate with the help of these cleat angles and bolted connections in the case of gusseted base the column is connected to the base plate with the help of gusseted plate this is gusseted plate so in case of slab base cleat angles are used to connect column with the base plate and in gusseted base gusset plate is used to connect the column with the base plate then according to the loading when slab base and gusseted base are used in which loading cases slab base or gusseted base can be used so answer is very simple slab bases are used <coughs> slab bases are used in the columns carrying small loading and gusseted bases are used in the columns carrying heavy loading right so when load on the column is very small we can use the slab base and if the load on the column is heavy we must use the gusseted base now how the loading is transferred to the base plate in column bases from this column to the base plate how the load is transferred that made the question in the interview how the loading is transferred to the base plate in the column bases so the answer is in the case of slab base the load is transferred to the base plate through bearing and in the case of gusseted base the load is transferred to the base plate partly through bearing and partly through gusset plate it means if you look at the left figure if you look at the left figure this is column which is subjected to axial force right at the center now since this column is connected to this base plate with the help of these cleat angles the same axial force which is acting on the column is transferred to the base plate at the center like this okay but in the case of gusseted base whatever load is acting on the column half of the load is directly transferred to base plate that is w by 2 
half of the column half of the load is directly transferred to the base plate and remaining half of the load is transferred through gusseted plate like this through this it is transferred to the base plate so partly through bearing and partly through gusset plate this is called as transfers of, uh, transfer of load column load to the base plate so in case of slab base whatever load is acting on the column complete load is directly transferred to the base plate which is called as load is transferred through bearing and in case of gusseted base half of the load is transferred to the base plate directly through bearing and half of the load is transferred through gusseted plate so w by 2 is coming through gusset plate and w2 is coming through bearing directly so load is transferred in slab base through bearing complete load through bearing and in case of gusseted base half load through bearing and half load through base plate so if question is asked how the load is transferred you can answer like this then which column bases are used in the case of concentric loading and eccentric loading so slab bases are used in the case of concentric loading and gusseted bases are used in the case of eccentric loading which create the moment also right so slab bases are recommended when load is concentric and gusseted bases are recommended when load is eccentric these are the few fundamental information about the column bases i hope all of you have understand in the next class we will discuss the next article on design of steel structures thank you thank you very much